and gentlemen, the king. It's rather different to our sewer headquarters here, isn't it? Today, you will decide what is to be done with the Bowerstone Old Quarter, site of the Battle for Albion. Paige will offer her proposal. Reva shall stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, our victory came at a great cost to the city. You vowed to fight poverty, but our actions have made the problem worse. You must act now. I ask that the old quarter be rebuilt and its former residents rehomed. You wouldn't just be helping those in great need. You'd be sending a message to your people. They're scared, Your Majesty. Let them know they can count on you. Your Majesty, the old quarter was indeed devastated by your glorious triumphs, but as its name subtly implies, it was old. The cost of rebuilding the area would be a colossal waste of money, and the people who called its decrepit shambles of streets and houses their home are better off without it. Besides, one must question what they have to offer our society. Why build homes for the inept and the unskilled? I recommend you reject Page's proposal and keep the money for more deserving endeavors. It was our actions that caused the devastation, Your Majesty. But the final decision rests with you. We destroyed the old quarter. It's only right we rebuild it. The king has reached his decision. The old quarter shall be rebuilt, and its former residents will have their homes returned. Thank you, Your Majesty. This will be a very popular move. <sighs> I suppose there may be something to be gained by rebuilding part of the city. It shows our sense of industry has not yet been dampened. Very well, Your Majesty. Despite the current climate of fear and great national need, Riva Industries has once again struck a blow for the honest man on the street. The sad sight of the decayed and war-torn old quarter is no more. We are proud to present the new Old Quarter. It breaks one's heart to see the treasury so empty. If we don't do something about it, we will all die. And I have some very definitive retirement plans. As a matter of fact, our very first order of business might have a bearing on our financial situation. The time has come to decide the annual town guard budget. As you can imagine, the people like to complain about crime and the lack of safety on our streets and are calling for more guards than your brother was ever willing to pay for. You have three choices, Your Majesty. Leave the budget as it is. After all, the people have grown accustomed to murder, theft and contraband. Increase the budget and fill the streets with soldiers keeping the peace. A rather costly solution. Or take a more considered approach by lowering the budget. For what is the point of a safe, well-policed kingdom when it is too poor to protect itself from certain annihilation? The people will be delighted, Your Majesty. But will they thank you when they are dead? Not unless they are turned into some sort of awful zombie creatures. Um, that isn't what is going to happen, is it? Anyway, this will leave a sizable gap in the treasury. Unless you can cover the expenses out of your own pocket, I'm afraid we shall be in dire straits indeed. Let us now turn our attention to the rest of today's business. Here is the royal schedule I have prepared.
As you can see, you have a busy day in the court, but a tremendously enjoyable one. Decoration is a passion of mine, and I simply cannot wait to see your choice. The interior designers await you in the throne room. Today, you decide on the decor of the castle. Two of Albion's greatest interior designers have come to present their suggestions. You may speak. Your Majesty, I am Herman Worthy, and I have a design in mind that will blow your little royal socks off. Imagine a celestial scheme capable of lifting the shadows that haunt these halls. A fabulous balance of serene hues that announce to the world, I am a strong, virtuous leader. Hear me roar. But also, look how pretty my home is. You are an enlightened king. Let the heart of your castle be enlightened too. Celestial? Serene? Pretty? Do you wish to be known as a ruler or as a fool? I am Sybil Maleficent, Your Majesty, and I can tell you that people respect what they fear. This castle should be a fortress of dread. I propose that we flood the rooms and corridors with blood, or at least a suitable paint substitute. Let all those who look upon this palace know terror, whether they be your subjects or your enemies. It may seem trivial, but appearances can affect the opinion of the entire kingdom. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. I wish this to be an enlightened castle. Oh, fabulous, Your Majesty, fabulous! Your castle will be a vision of purity. And what's more, fashion and good taste must choke down their nausea. Today you decide on the future of Aurora, Your Majesty. Kaylin will speak for her people. Reva will dispute her cause. You may speak. I am here to seek the protection you promised. It is too long since my people felt safe or knew of life without suffering. We were honored to join your fight to claim Albion. Now it is time we joined your kingdom. Do what your brother failed to do. Help us to rebuild Aurora and protect it as you would your own land. There is nothing so noble as embracing other cultures, and I, for one, could not be happier to count Aurora as part of Albion. But surely they must work for that privilege, and I happen to know just how to put them to good service. There is an abandoned mine in the Auroran desert that holds enough materials to benefit the whole kingdom. Let us employ Kaelin and her people to gather what resources there may be. That can be their payment. You are talking about forced labor. Well, let's not get bogged down in semantics. It's a fair transaction. I know you will not break your oath. You understand what we have been through. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. I will keep my promise. Aurora will become part of Albion, and its people will be our equals in every way. The king has spoken. Aurora shall be rebuilt as part of Albion, and equal to every other part of the kingdom. Thank you, Majesty. You have proven to be a man of honor. Aurora is proud to stand at your side. Welcome to the new and improved Aurora, an oasis of friendship, camaraderie, and many other lovely things. 
Visit the city that Reva Industries rebuilt from sand, stone, and corpses. Enjoy the sunshine, the odd local customs, and the heavy soldier presence. Aurora, a light blooming in the dark. A most brave decision in court today, Your Majesty. Aurora might have proven to be a rather profitable resource, but I'm sure we can find other means of filling the treasury. As a matter of fact, we could already have stumbled upon such an opportunity. Aurora may not turn out to be a waste after all. It seems that a group of Albion explorers visiting Aurora have discovered a rare diamond in the desert. They heard the legend of this extraordinary gem from the locals, and understandably set out to find it, without a moment's regard for their own lives. Which may go some way to explaining why only one of the explorers returned in one piece. He came back empty-handed, speaking of the hideous desert beings protecting the treasure. Think of the glory, Your Majesty, the adventure, the romance. The large sums of money we stand to make. The diamond is located in one of the caves beneath the Auroran wasteland, reportedly the site of an ancient abandoned temple. You need only to take it. And finally I can say something. <laughs> yeah, so these episodes are going to be a lot about... Um, me making decisions in the throne room and off screen I'll be doing a lot of the um, gathering money for you know for the end of the game of course I already show you how, how to do that and that is to buy all property in the world I, right now I can't buy these because I have to visit this place first and then I'll be able to to buy the the houses and the businesses and then I'll be able to make the maximum amount of money that you can make in the game because this is the last town um... Huh. Congratulations, you made a friend. In addition to being jolly good company, friends can give each other gifts and even discount I have no idea how I made a friend, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I think the only thing that I have, haven't shown you guys is how to um, you know, like a girlfriend and marriage and all that. Maybe I'll, I'll there's a quest that, I, that I'm thinking about, but um, we'll see. You got a gift. Thank you. Please That's the friend. This gift, I guess nice. they love me because I restored this place somehow. I took away the evil by investing money. I just threw money and the evil just ran away for, for some reason. Well, this is pretty much it. Um, it's night time right now. The, there, there is daylight here now that you can see, like the sunshine and all that. Um, but it's pretty much the same town. There's just people around. You can check the houses now, and you know. Hey, give me, give me that. Whatever it is, thank you. I have a lot of friends. <laughs> well. I didn't get much done on this part. Um, off screen, I'll be buying the houses and setting up the highest rent through the map like this. And uh, and on the next one, we'll continue on with the quest for some treasure hunting. And I'll see you guys there. Bye bye.